I guess uh, no cutscene for this time. So we'll go back to some more Devil May Cry 3. Last time, we took down Gigapede, which I didn't know was his actual name until I looked it up off screen. And, uh, speaking of off screen, I have done some homework. And by homework, I mean I have 151,000 orbs. Okay, there is a reason for this. I did say in a previous episode that it takes a long time to go and get everything in the game and there's just no way you're going to unlock every single move and action without grinding. So I'm doing those off screen. If you want to follow along with the orb thing, then um, I personally just kept going back to mission one and two. You can go back to previous missions to go and, well, grind orbs. Um, the first mission, if you do it, S rank will give you 5,000 orbs, and the second mission, if you S rank, it gives you 6,000. So it's really not that bad of a grind, but besides that, I didn't want to go overkill, overkill. I could have gone up to like 200k, but that's, er, yeah, 200k. I mostly wanted Stinger 2, because Stinger is really good, and Air Hike, which is something we will need later. I'm not going to care about Drive. Drive is a really weird move. Um, yeah, it takes a long time for it to wind up, and I just personally don't really care about it. As for Cerberus, Windmill is, again, is another one of those moves I just don't really care about. As long as you have Revolver, you're set for Cerberus. As for our styles, I wanted to show... Trickster is almost level 2, and there's a very specific reason for this. Um, there is a secret mission later on that I will need to level 2 Trickster for. Trust me on this. And Swordmaster is pretty close, too. Um, I don't think the other two really got that much. Yeah, I didn't really use those. I mostly focused on Trickster and Swordmaster. But like I said, I will be doing those... Uh, well, mission one and two over and over again off screen just to try to level up the styles. That's the main reason I want to go off screen and do it. But since we have a bunch of orbs still, um, I don't want to go overkill with it, but I think I'll at least buy a blue orb or two. So, yeah, when you buy stuff from the shop, the price increases incrementally. So, that is why I'm straying away from buying these vital stars right now if I don't need them. Same with the holy water. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll buy another blue orb. So, yeah. There's only six you can buy from the, uh, from here, so don't, don't worry about it. It's, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, besides all of that, uh, actually, I can check if I can upgrade my guns real quick. Um, which I can. I'll upgrade Ebony, Ebony and Ivory. It just increases the firepower. They'll just do more damage. Anyway, besides all that, mission start. Here we go. These things are gargoyles, and they are freaking annoying. They solidify when you use gun damage against them. And if you try to hit them while they are in their weird uh, spirit form, I guess you could say, they will keep splitting in half. They are really annoying to deal with. And you got some more over here. I'm just going to try to trickster dodge. And yeah, they do this weirdo move. So yeah, my personal recommendation... Try to solidify as many as you can. If you leave them alone for too long, they will also try to split. So, uh, and the bigger they are, the more health they have, and they're more annoying. So, yeah. It's, uh... I, I hate these things. I really do. They show up a lot more often. There we go. Uh, let's go. Oh, my God. Go back over here. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that. There we go. 
and then take you down. Cerberus does really good against this, and hey, lightning. This is uh, specific to the special edition of Devil May Cry 3. We get some Jester fights. Welcome to hell. Says you. Dance for me, buddy. But yeah. De Jester is pretty easy. You fight him multiple times throughout the game if you're playing the special edition. Uh, he's going to do some weird stuff here. Here we go. And yeah, you can just keep spamming. Uh, nice. You can just keep spamming your guns. Try to dodge these ball things. It's, I don't know. Jester is just very odd. I'm going to go back to Rebellion. So for when he opens up, I can just Stinger immediately. What Stinger 2 does, by the way, is increases the lunge distance by like a crap ton. Like, look at that. And yeah. It's basically just a combo tester, I guess. There we go. And then, uh, what's this one? Oh, balls randomly all over the place. If you see the green ones, you can break them for a green orb, but it's really hard to hit, and it's very awkward to hit that thing, so I am just gonna not get hit. Holy moly! There we go. Revolver. Ooh! There we go. Also, I never explained how you do that jab move. You basically have to keep spamming the attack button when uh, you do your stinger. So that's why I keep accidentally doing it, because I, I'm a very bad spammer. There we go. And go down. You are a very big weirdo. Don't slap your ass at me. And a reward is just a couple of red orbs. He'll give you more when you fight him later. They, he is not a one-time occurrence. But just uh, keep in mind that he can do some weird stuff. He is Jester, after all. Oh, we are very close to leveling up, Swordmaster. Do not jump down into the pit. Uh, trust me on this. You want to go out through here. We got some free red orbs, which is very nice. And so, what we need to do, we did get that one item we needed, thanks to uh, Jester helping us out. So uh, let's um, head on over there. Again, this is not very clear, but um, that is what happened. We just keep heading on up. And here is our thing. Used to astronomical board. And what this will do, is open up some paths that were previously locked off. And we can grab a new thing. And makes this active. I'll show what that does in a minute. Also, uh, t I was re-watching the first episode. I never explained what you, what the other uh, style thing was without uh, the freestyle stuff. Also, first of all, Vajura, model of an ancient weapon used to control lightning. This is merely an ornament. Yeah. Cool weapons that you can't even use. Well, as explaining, well, what going to explain is that the original version of Devil May Cry 3, uh, you cannot switch styles at all. You would have to go into your menu before the mission started or go to one of these things. In freestyle, you could just change your style at will. This is a boosty pad, because boosty pads. Head over to the blue door. You get some enemies that come back up. I'm not going to deal with them. Uh, hi, buddy. Just, yeah, I I really do not need to waste my time with you. Back in the living statue room. We want to head back to this thing. Again, this is not clear, but kind of an homage to Devil May Cry 1. When in doubt, kick things to make it happen. Now get rid of the birdcage on this. Because we like puzzle games, apparently. Don't worry, this game is not as puzzle gamey as it was in Devil May Cry 1, but there are some stuff. Soul of Steel. Essence of a powerful and fearless soul. Its possessor need not fear hell nor oblivion. And, yeah, we do gotta fear that, though. Yeah, more of these enigmas. I hate these things. 
Also, dick move for shooting right off the bat. There we go. Uh, did not mean to jump over there, but I guess I'm going to kill this one. I am glad I dodged when I did. I want those red orbs. I'm trying to dodge these green guys. I don't know their exact names. There we go. Go back to Swordmaster since we're so close to finishing that. Boop. Okay, that looks cool. <laughs> I was hoping I was going to hit him. Nicely done. Uh, oh, there's a oh, there's more enigmas. Hello. All right, just try to take you down. Point. Nice thing with these enigmas is that they don't really try to attack you if they're if you're close to them. Ow! I say it's the one away from me. Does All right, you die? You're being annoying. Oh yeah. Yeah, I hate those things. Oh, uh, where is there another one? Yes, there is. Gotta love them being in weird spots. Easy. Like, they're easy to kill. It's, they're just annoying. So, there's that. Um, guess, um, uh, I guess we could go out from there, but we could just go back through the door where we came from because uh, we just need to go, oh, God, just a little higher up. So, we'll just make our way back through here and dodge these guys because... I could really care less about what you're doing, bro. I, uh, I have other business to attend to. So back into the central tower. Also, yeah, we have a double jump now. I forgot to explain what air hike does, but yeah, that's what air hike is. And, uh, there's only a few weapons in the game that actually gives this ability to you. And it's really, really needed. Like, immensely so. Anyway. We gotta, uh... Why did I come back through here? I don't know. Why, why did I do that? <laughs> I need to go up here. And yeah, air hike just helps out with the platforming a ton. This door as well, I was thinking of. And yeah. Now that we have that soul, we can walk in the middle of the air. And you have a combat adjudicator for Cerberus. If you tried to use Rebellion, yeah. I see cool to the core. So yeah, let's give it what it wants. Luckily, you can use Swordmaster here, which is nice. Should be able to get the A rank. There we go. Just use different combos that you can think of. And there you go. Uh Oh yeah, we put it into this thing. Soul of Steel. Labrador much. And Surge of Fortunas, or Surge of Fortunas. In here is actually a secret mission. Go touch this thing right here. This is kind of annoying. You gotta kill the Enigmas without getting hit. So yeah, I recommend Stinger and wait. Okay, wow, that is unforgiving. Wow, that is very unforgiving. I was gonna say, like, try to kill one, and then Trickster. God damn, okay. They do not wanna give you a chance. Also, if you try to ro Royal Guard it, it counts as a hit. Okay. Dodge those two. Good. And hopefully the other ones will lay off. There we go. Stop that one from hitting me. It's kinda luck of the draw with these ones because Sometimes they'll just stand around and watch you, and then sometimes they'll just auto-lock you to death. It's really stupid. So, yeah. At least it's very easy, but still, it's kind of annoying. Just get rid of this thing. Let's activate the elevator. And, yeah. Pretty simple. But, uh, I guess on our way up, we're gonna have some friends... And to which I say I actually recommend using uh, Cerberus here. Because of this move. There we go. Really close to Swordmaster level 2, man. Come on, give it to me. Boop. Just jump and get rid of that. And you kind of do want to be quick about killing these guys. Because they can wait down the elevator and make you go all the way back down. Come on, buddies. Boop. 
I think if it's more than four at the same time, they'll weigh it down, so it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, up to the top. Uh, and keep in mind of this little area for later. So, I'm pretty sure we got all the blue orbs we can get, and right over there is a boss room. Very peachy indeed. So, uh, get some free red orbs by destroying random crap because Dante likes destroying random crap. I did not know you could destroy the axe. Wow, okay. So, here's one thing I will do. Just in case bad things happen, I will buy a vital star. This doesn't disqualify you of anything, but still having one on you is at least something. So yeah, I'm hoping I can do this because I have not fought these guys in a while. Firestorm Chamber. Look, brother. It's been ages, but we finally have company. I see that. We must entertain our guest. You're right. We have to be gracious hosts. What should we do? How do I know? We need to come up with something. <sighs> Brother, our guest is sighing. Sigh? What is sigh? Well, a sigh is when... Enough already! How long are you two gonna keep carrying on like this? In case you didn't get the hint, I'll spell it out. Your guest wants to go through. Got it? Our job here is to go on this pool. That's right, we can't let you pass. You guys are a couple of dorks. Agni and Rudra. These guys are actually really interesting. So, oh god, okay, okay, okay. I'm going trickster. So yeah, what you can do is focus on one. This is the uh, fire. Remember when I was saying that different, uh, okay, I did not mean to do that. I keep forgetting that I'm on actual trickster. There we go, dodge. Remember when I was saying that different weapons actually have different elemental affinities? Agni here is weak to ice. And then they're gonna start doing this. Wait for one to pop up. Ow, okay, or just get hit by the other. And you can jump over their attacks if you need to. Uh, man, they are not giving me any chance. What I'm gonna try to do is just focus on one and then focus on the other. God damn, okay. Trickster is not gonna help me here. There we go. Yeah, these guys are kind of assholes. All right, just wait. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. Usually they both jump you. Okay, you guys are being dicks. There we go. One of them will eventually go down. And the other one kind of just pisses off. He doesn't really do much when the one is down. Okay. Okay, well, at least I dodged that. Can't even see what I'm doing, bro. Okay. I did not even want to try to do that. But yeah. I can't see, man. You can also have them hit each other, which is actually kind of funny. Let's go. But there is kind of two ways you can take these two down. Um, do keep in mind that the easiest way is just to get one low and then focus on the other for a sec. Okay, I may want to star. Just focus on. Okay, he's summoning wind. Okay, yep, time to start. Oh, no, 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 no. I keep pressing X thinking. Or, I keep pressing B thinking it's X. <laughs> this is not PlayStation. There we go. A vital star for us. Well, a large one is basically a full health. Ow, okay, I, I need to focus on Rudra, because you're being very rude. I was trying to, okay. Go to Trickster. But yeah, the two ways of fighting this dude is if you knock one down, then it, the, the other one will eventually inherit the powers of the other and start using both blades. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, I should have just dodged. Alright, well, at least the blast off worked. 
either that or you could just knock one down to really low health and then uh, what's it get the other one low health and then kill him off at the same time therefore not having to deal with the uh, second wave there we go once down now get back here ow okay I need to kill you now there we go perfect that is not a good display Wait. Yes, wait. We have been waiting for a long time. Yes, a very long time. For someone stronger than us. Someone who can control us. My name is Agni. And my name is Rudra. You shall take us with you. We can be a great help to you. Okay. But on one condition. What is it? Name it. No, talking. Fair enough. As you wish. New weapons, Agni and Rudra. Tornado like gusts and flame. So yeah. Oh, and uh, wow, that's uh, Trickster leveled up. I, how did Trickster level up before Swordmaster? Okay, whatever. Um, basically now we have uh, air hike. Well, not air hike, but kind of a vertical air hike. You can do a dodge in the middle of the air, which is very nice. And then you can do double dash. So yeah. How the hell did Trickster level up before Swordmaster? Eh, whatever. I'll show you that. There you go. It's kind of like a weird vertical dodge in the air, and we can dodge twice. This is important for later. Uh, I want to show... You can also do... Okay, maybe not. So Agni and Rudra have the elemental affinities of fire and wind. And they're really cool weapons. So yeah. And there's our Swordmaster, which will get more abilities with Swordmaster later once it levels up. But yeah. Agni and Rudra, uh, Rudra are really good. But there we go. Mission clear. I probably did terrible because I used... Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I am not going to stray away from using items or anything like that, like Vital Stars. Simp I'm not going to abuse it, but like one or two is not going to hurt. It's better than using the Holy Water. <laughs> but anyway... That's uh, all the time we got today, so next time on Devil May Cry 3, we'll uh, keep going ahead with our new weapons in our power. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. <laughs>